Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to build our third farming control, which is the select dropdown component. We are going to be following the exact same steps we implemented in the previous videos. Let's begin. In the UI, a select farming control would look like this. There are again three distinct elements. A form label, which is nothing but a label HTML element, a form input, which is the field component from Formic, which in turn should render a select HTML element. And finally, the field error, which is the error message component, again from Formic. The field though, on click of the form field, renders a drop down with a list of options to choose from. This has to be considered when creating our select component. To implement this select component, let's take a look at the props required. First and foremost, we set the control prop to select, which is required to determine the type of formic control we need to render. Second, we need a label prop, which will be the label text for the form field. Third, we pass in the all important name prop, which is required by formic for the field as well as the error message components. Another essential prop is the options prop, which is basically an array of objects. Each object will contain key value pairs, which we use to populate the dropdown for our select component. All right, with this UI and list of props in mind, let's write the code. We're going to implement this formic control again in three simple steps. First step, we write the code in a new component specific to the field type. In our case, a select component. Second step, we write the code in the formic control component. Third and final step, we write the code in the formic container component, which will help us test the code in the browser. So let's begin with step one. For step one, we need to create a new component for the select formic control. So within the components folder, I'm going to create a new file called select.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a function component. For this select dropdown, we would need the field and error message components from Formic. So let's import them. Next, let's talk about the props. From the props this component receives, we are going to destructure label, name, options, and leave out the rest. Finally, we are going to add in the JSX. The JSX for a select dropdown is similar to what we have seen for input and text area, but this time we also have to specify the list of options as children to the field component. Sounds complicated, but it definitely is not. Let's begin with a div tag. And this div tag has a class name equal to form control. Within this div tag, we first have the label. The text is going to be the label prop and HTML4 is going to be equal to the name prop. Next, we have the field component. We set ID is equal to the name prop, name is equal to the name prop, and spread out the rest of the props as they are. Similar to the text area component, we also have to specify the as prop, but this time it is equal to the string select. If we have to render a select element, we need to specify as is equal to select on the field component. Now as children to this field component, we need to render the list of options for which we make use of the options prop. So curly braces, options dot map, and the map method gives us access to each option object with which we will return the option HTML element. On the option tag itself, we specify key is equal to option dot value which is needed to avoid the warning that React would otherwise flag. And then for each option, we specify value attribute, 
which is equal to option dot value again and then the inner text is going to be option dot key all we are trying to do is add the options for our select drop down with some JavaScript instead of hard coding and remember each option is just an object with key value pairs the last part of the component is the error message component and we set name equal to the name prop and component is equal to text error make sure to import it at the top All right that is our first step creating the select component the second step is to add code in our formic control component as we already know this is really simple for the switch statement if the case is select we return the select component that we have just created make sure to import it at the top and on the select component leaving out control we pass in rest of the props that is our step two returning the select component if the control prop is select for the third and final step we add code in the formic container component to test the code we have written for the first two steps unlike the previous two videos our first sub step in formic container we are going to be defining a new constant called options which will contain the list of options for our drop down so const drop down options is going to be equal to an array and I'm going to quickly copy paste the options the first option has a label select an option and an empty value rest of the options have a key and a corresponding value next we add a property to the initial values object this is going to be select option and the initial value is an empty string next let's add a required validation to this field so in the validation schema make a copy of description and change description to select option finally in the JSX we can include the formic control so formic control and let's add the props first and foremost we need to specify what kind of control is this component so we say control is equal to select after that we pass in the label prop which is equal to the string select a topic and then the all important name prop which is equal to select option we then add the options prop which is equal to drop down options and that completes our step 3 we can now save all the files and test this out in the browser on page load we have our select field along with the label the initial value is an empty string which corresponds to the key select an option I click on the field and we can see the drop down with different options I can pick an option and the form state updates if I select the first option again and blur out we can see the required field validation choose a different value again fill in the other fields click on submit and you can see the value logged in the console our select formic control works as expected let's go over what we have done one more time to make sure we understand this right so there are three main steps first step define the select formic control extract the necessary props and use them label for the label the label prop for the label name for id and name on the field and error message components and rest of the props are passed as they are to the field component on the field component we also pass in the as prop equal to select as children to the field component we mention a list of options which we get from the options prop once we have the component ready we then import that component in the formic control component and return it for the appropriate case 
In this video, we return it for the select case. All we have left now is testing of the first two steps. For that, we use the formic container component. We specify options and initial value, validation rule, and then include the component in the JSX, passing in the appropriate props. And when you run the code, you have the expected output. So we now have a reusable select formic control component that can be used in any form required. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.